Hey guys, so I wanted to record this Valentine's Day look that I created yesterday when I went to the Dan Bilzerian party. I posted some pictures on Instagram, so definitely go and check it out and add me at K3Chocolate. So I already primed my face as you can see and now I'm just applying my foundation that goes together with the primer and they're both from Cover Effects. And I will link all of the products that I'm using for you guys down below in the info box below the video. Now I'm applying some concealer and blending everything out with my Lee Sautier sponges. And I'm using my little light up mirror which I love 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 this thing. It's so useful and it's perfect for travel. I just took it with me to Vegas. It comes with a little stand and it has a little Bluetooth feature that you can use to take pictures which is magnetized so you can attach it to the mirror and it also comes with a little magnifying mirror that you can also attach. It's just perfect. I just love this thing so I will link that for you guys down below as well. And now I'm contouring my face and also my boobs and I do have a separate tutorial on how to contour your boobs and make them look bigger so if you guys want to see that I will link it down below as well. I'm also contouring my collarbones and then blending everything out. So I had a lot of fun last night at this party and today is Valentine's Day. I'm not doing much, I'm just probably going to go see a movie with some friends. But let me know what your plans are down below in the comments. And now I'm just setting my face with a translucent powder. And I'm actually using a small brush to set my under eyes, which helps a lot with the concealer not creasing. And then I was trying to get my eyeshadow primer out and it just went everywhere, all over the couch, all over my arm. It was a mess. And now I'm taking this nude sort of flesh toned contour shade from the Anastasia palette and I'm actually using it as an eyeshadow all over the lid for a wash of color to have it as a base for the darker ones. And then I'm taking the light brown one and placing that into my crease and then with the same shade I'm going in and contouring. And I do have a few contouring tutorials as well so if you guys are interested I will link those below for you. So normally I would only go in with one contour color, but since we were taking pictures and it was nighttime, I also decided to go in with my Hula bronzer and darken up the contour. And here I'm just taking my translucent powder and buffing out the nose contour. Now I'm taking my golden highlight. This is my favorite one from Ofra and I'm highlighting my nose bridge and the tip of my nose so it makes like a little exclamation point. Then I'm highlighting my inner corners, my lower lash line, and then underneath my eyebrows. Then for my cheekbones and my body, I took this other Ofra highlighter, which is a lot brighter and shinier. And now I'm just going in and brushing on my eyebrows before I fill them in. I also have on my lash extensions, so that's why I'm not going to be applying any strips. And then finally, I'm just setting my brows with a brow gel. And then I was using this little blush highlighter palette for the mirror, so I just decided why not go in and add some of that. Like, fuck it, we're already layering everything on, so might as well. And then I decided to darken up the eyeshadow colors with these shades from my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And now I'm applying my liquid liner to create a very long and sexy wing. And I actually have a tutorial on how to do liquid liner and pencil liner and gel liner from like a long time ago. So I'll link that for you guys down below if you're interested. I 
also like to extend the liner into my inner corner to create that sexy Cleopatra cat eye. And finally, you can clean up the wing with some concealer, which you don't have to do this, but it just makes the eyeliner look a lot cleaner. And finally, I'm just applying some mascara to the very tips of my lash extensions. And I know you're not supposed to put mascara on, but I'm not putting the mascara from the root, so I'm not pulling on the lash extensions. I'm just adding some color to the very ends to make them look darker and I'm not applying any mascara on my lower lashes at all. Now I'm just spraying everything with my setting spray and blending all of it together. So I knew that I wanted to do a red lip but I just didn't know which color to pick. And then I decided to actually go into my Naked Cherry palette and add a little bit of a burgundy to my eyeshadow so that it pulls the look together with the red lip. So I like to apply my lipstick last after I already do my hair and change so that way it's fresh when I go out. So here I'm just applying a little bit of oil to my hair so that way it's not frizzy. And then spraying in this heat protectant. Now I'm just sectioning off my hair and I'm teasing it at the roots so that way my hair extensions have something to grip onto. So I'm loving these new hair extensions that I got and I actually had my stylist cut them and layer them specially for me. And they're the same brand that my ponytail is from. So if you haven't seen the ponytail tutorial that I did, I will link it below for you guys. And I do have a discount code for you guys. So if you use the code K3 at checkout on inhhair.com, you will get 15% off and this applies to hair extensions, ponytails, wigs, clip and bangs, everything that they have. And I'm kind of considering going back to brunette or at least not continuing with the blonde. Like last time I went to my hairstylist, I just had him color at the ends of my hair to match the extensions, but we did not take the blonde anymore up. I think I'm just going to let my roots grow out at this point. And he actually had a really good tip for me. So as you can see, I wrote on the extensions with a Sharpie marker. So that way I can remember where exactly they go because he did layer them like I said. So I wrote our for right top or right bottom and then a left top left bottom and then in the back I just have three tracks so I wrote top middle and bottom so then my camera died but all I did was just apply this lipstick and change my top so here I'm just applying a little bit more highlight all over my body and then I'm just curling my hair and I will link the wand and all of the products for you guys down below in the info box as I said but I do want to get a smaller wand because the way that my hairstylist did it was just so amazing. When he curled my hair, it was like a very beachy wave, kind of mermaidy look, not too structured. So the way it looks here is different, but I definitely want to get the wand that he has. And here I just kind of mixed it all together and tousled the hair so that way it's not very structured and then set it with a hairspray. But it was raining that night so I got rained on anyway so my hair looks a little bit different in pictures but it's all good. Also let me know in the comments down below what tutorials or videos you guys want to see next. If I should do more try on hauls, unboxings, vlogs, fitness, and health videos. I've seen some people ask me about my diet and what I eat since I'm vegetarian gluten free. So I can do some videos like that if you guys want. So definitely let me know. I also have a couple giveaways planned so definitely stay tuned for those. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
Hit the little notification bell as well so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. Add me on Instagram to keep in touch and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!